Lesson 4, Angles of Any Magnitude, Part 2. In this lesson, we're going to look at negative angles. This is the, the theory. If we measure in this direction here, this is going to be minus theta. Now, we know that they're all positive in the first quadrant. So we've got all positive here. The sine is positive here. The tan is positive here. And the cos is the only one positive in the fourth quadrant. So the sine of minus theta must be equal to minus the sine of theta. And here the cos of minus theta, though, because we're in the fourth quadrant, is going to be just positive. It's the cos of theta. And the tan of minus theta is going to be obviously negative minus tan theta. OK, so let's do these few little examples. So this is going to be minus the sine of 30 degrees, which is equal to minus a half. This is equal to the cos of 30 degrees, which equals root 3 on 2. And of course, the tan of minus 30 is minus the tan of 30 degrees, which is minus 1 over root 3. Right, in example 2, you have to find the sine of minus 150. Now, the sine of minus 150 is equal to minus the sine of 150 degrees. Now, from other lessons, we know that the sine of 150 is going to be in the second quadrant, so it's going to be positive sine 30, so it'll be minus the sine of 30, which equals minus a half. The cos, now the cos is just going to be the cos of 150, but the 150 is in the second quadrant, so it'll be minus the cos of 30, which equals minus root 3 on 2. Okay, now we take the tan, that's minus the tan of 150, now, tan of 150 is negative in the second quadrant, so this changes to a plus. So that will be the tan of 30, which of course is 1 over root 3. On we go with example 3. Now, the sine of minus 240 is going to be equal to minus the sine of 240. Now, 240 degrees is in the third quadrant, so the sine will be negative in the third quadrant, so this changes that to positive. So it's going to be the sine of 60 degrees, which of course is root 3 on 2. This one, now it's going to be the cos of 240 degrees. The cos is negative in the third quadrant, so it's going to be minus the cos of 60 degrees, which is minus half. The tan of minus 240 is minus the tan of 240. The tan is positive in the third quadrant, so it's minus the tan of 60 degrees which is minus root 3.